hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends hope you are all doing well so in the previous lecture we have discussed about uh, the question number 5a of the model question paper set 2 today i will discuss question number 5a of the model paper set 1 okay so similar problem but uh, only intervals are changed over here obtain the Fourier series expansion of the function f, of f of x is equal to pi minus x divided by 2 for 0 is less than x less than 2 pi hence deduce that pi by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus so so on okay if you are not uh, watching yet that particular video on the Fourier series I have provided the link in the description box you can go and watch there okay so while writing solution you should remember always this uh, Fourier series expansion over there <coughs> This is your f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos of nx plus summation of n running from 1 to infinity b n sine of nx. Okay, this is your Fourier series expansion where these a naught, a n and b n are the Fourier coefficients which we have to calculate in this particular problem. So, first of all, I will cal calculate a naught. a naught is equal to 1 upon pi integration of 0 to 2 pi f of x dx. This is the formula for a naught. Okay, so I can write here 1 upon pi integration of 0 to 2 pi what is the f of x value in the function that is pi minus x upon 2 okay dx which is equal to 1 upon this 2 I will take out of the integration that is 2 pi integration of 0 to 2 pi pi minus x dx this is your function now right now you have to integrate it 1 upon 2 pi what is the integration of pi dx see here integration of 1 dx is always x okay if it is pi pi is the constant so i can write here pi dx it is integration will be pi x over here okay it is actually 1x like 2x 3x here is pi x so i can write integration of pi dx is pi x okay so pi x right then integration of this x so it is minus x square upon 2 integration of x is x square upon 2 i hope you are getting this one right so and uh, limits will be shifted from 0 to 2 pi now just apply limits which is equal to 1 upon 2 pi 2 pi you just uh, put down in a state of x over here okay it will become pi into 2 pi okay minus 2 pi square upon 2 minus lower limit 0 pi into 0 is 0 minus 0 by 0 is 0 so no need to write okay <clears throat> which is equal to 1 upon 2 pi this is 2 pi into pi is 2 pi square minus 2 pi square divided this is your sorry this is your 2 pi whole square i am writing the upper limit in a state of x so 2 pi it is whole square so it will become 4 pi square by 2 which i will get over here 2 1 by 2 pi 2 pi square minus 2 ones 2 twos this is your 2 pi square right 2 pi square 2 pi square will get cancelled you will get 0 a naught is equal to 0 right now what we have to calculate this a n value okay so let me calculate now a n is equal to 1 by pi integration of 0 to pi f of x cos of n x dx this is the general formula for a n right now i can write here a n is equal to 1 upon pi integration of 0 to 2 pi f of x is the given function that is pi minus x upon 2 cos of n x dx right which is equal to 1 upon pi this 2 i will take out i will get integration of 0 to 2 pi pi minus x cos of nx dx right now apply bernoulli's rule of integration so 1 upon 2 pi integration of uh, pi minus x cos of nx by bernoulli's rule so keep pi minus x as it is integration of cos of nx so it is sine of nx upon n this is the integration okay minus differentiation of this term differentiation of pi is 0 constant minus x differentiation of x is 1 so minus 1 i can write then again integration of this this term sine of nx by n that is minus cos of nx by n square this is your integration for this term so limits will shift from 0 to 2 pi i hope you are getting now apl while applying limits uh, when you apply just 2 pi over here so it becomes 2 n pi so it is always equal to 0 sine of n pi is always equal to 0 so no need to write this term you have to neglect it so it is 0 over here so i will take minus minus is plus minus is minus so minus i will take out 2 pi and this n square i will take out over here okay this is your 0 now this is your cos of n x okay limits will be same 0 to 2 pi now 
minus 1 by 2 pi n square apply upper limit minus lower limit that is your cos of instead of x you are taking 2 pi that is your 2 n pi minus cos of 0 right so which is equal to minus 1 upon 2 pi n square this is your cos of 2 n pi it is always equal to 0 oh, sorry cos of 2 n pi 2 n pi is equal to 1 over here okay and also cos of 0 is equal to 1 okay so you can take now this is your cos of 2 n pi that is 1 minus 0 is cos of 0 is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so this is your 0 so you will get a n is equal to 0 over here this is the formula cos of 2 n pi is equal to 1 and cos of 0 is always equal to 1 so a naught is also equal to 0 now you have to calculate b n value b n is equal to 1 upon pi integration of 0 to 0 to pi f of x sin of n x dx okay now let me calculate this b n value so this is your 1 by pi integration of 0 to sorry 0 to 2 pi is the integral f of x uh, is given in the function pi minus x by 2 so pi minus x this 2 i will take out sine of nx dx right now apply bernoulli's rule of integration 1 by 2 pi pi minus x as it is integration of sine of nx that is minus cos of nx by n minus differentiation of this term differentiation of pi is 0 mm, x is 1 so it is minus 1 over here integration of minus cos of nx is minus sin nx by n square okay so your limits will be 0 to 2 pi okay now while apply uh, limits upper limit minus lower limit wherever there is sin of nx nx and uh, limits are the pi in terms of pi so this term will become 0 over here okay so now this uh, pi minus x just apply limits over here that is 1 upon 2 pi pi minus 2 pi okay pi minus 2 pi and minus i will take first out so that it becomes comfortable for me to integrate it to apply limits so pi minus 2 pi cos of and this n i will also take out okay cos of n and 2 pi i am applying okay this is your upper limit now minus lower limit lower limit means 0 0 minus 0 is 0 into 0 is 0 so no need to write so which is equal to minus 1 upon 2 pi n okay pi minus 2 pi is minus pi minus pi into cos of 2 n pi okay so now what is the cos of 2 n pi value that is your uh, in the upper step i have shown you cos of 2 n pi is equal to 1 so on this side 2 n pi is equal to 1 okay sorry there uh, i have not taken the lower limit over here see this is your upper limit pi minus 2 pi cos of 2 n pi minus lower limit pi minus 0 i was supposed to take pi minus 0 into cos of n into 0 is 0 okay so i will get here this is your minus pi cos of 0 is 1 always so minus into pi is minus pi right now i will take here which is equal to minus 1 by 2 pi 2 pi n 2 n pi okay this is your minus pi cos of 2 n pi is 1 so no need to write multiplied by 1 it is minus pi minus pi okay let me proceed it over here so which is equal to 1 minus 1 upon 2 n pi this is minus pi minus pi is minus 2 pi okay so 2 2 will get cancelled pi pi will get cancelled minus and minus plus 1 upon n this is your bn value okay I hope you are getting now you have to put down this b n value in the given series series is this one f of x is equal to a naught by 2 so a naught is 0 I can take f of x is equal to these two terms no need to write a naught by 2 just because this is 0 a n also we are getting 0 in this case okay so these terms are 0 now I have to take only this much term so f of x is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sine of x b n is 1 by n so 1 upon n sine of n x this is your given Fourier series okay now in order to deduce what is mentioned in the question that is pi by 4 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 so let me deduce it so put x is equal to pi by 2 okay so if i take pi by 2 value f of x is given in the question that is pi minus x by 2 
is equal to this one summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n sine of nx now in order to put x is equal to pi by 2 so pi minus pi by 2 divided by 2 is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 from infinity okay i can take summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 upon n sine of n pi by 2 i hope you are getting this one right now let me solve it over here this is your 2 into pi is 2 pi minus pi by 2 is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n sine of n pi by 2 right now 2 pi minus pi is pi by 2 sorry yes 2 pi minus pi is pi by 2 and divided by 2 it is 1 by 2 by reciprocaling it okay which is equal to just put down value of n is 1 from 1 to infinity it is your choice how much you will take so 1 upon n 1 upon 1 sorry i am taking n value as 1 so 1 upon 1 sine of pi by 2 okay instead of n you have to put down the value 1 then plus as it is the summation of n terms then 1 upon 2 i am taking n value as 2 sine of 2 pi by 2 right plus 1 by 3 sine of 3 pi by 2 plus 1 by 4 sine of 4 pi by 2 like that you have to take these values i hope you are getting it so now this becomes your pi by 4 value so pi by 4 is equal to 1 by 1 sine of pi by 2 so you need to remember some formulas here sine of pi by 2 is always equal to 1 sine of 3 pi by 2 is equal to minus 1 sine of 5 pi by 2 is equal to 1 sine of 7 pi by 2 is equal to minus 1 like that these odd terms will go on okay 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 it is easy to remember over there okay now put down the value sine of pi by 2 is 1 so sine of pi by 2 is 1 plus 1 by 2 sine of 2 pi by 2 that is your sine of pi so you should remember sine of pi is always equal to 0 it is actually general sine of n pi is equal to 0 so it is simply sine of 1 pi it is always equal to 0 so multiplied by 0 plus 1 by 3 sine of 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 so multiplied by minus 1 plus 1 by 4 sine of 4 pi by 2 it is 2 1 2 2 sine of 2 pi so sine of n pi is always equal to 0 so multiplied by 0 so you will get pi by 4 is equal to 1 this is your 0 this is your minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 it is 0 actually okay then i will proceed it with the plus here plus 1 by 5 sine of 4 pi by sorry 5 pi by 2 okay i am proceeding it so this will become your plus 1 by 5 sine of 5 pi by 2 is 1 so multiplied by 1 you will get pi by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus so so on okay so it is in the question mentioned 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus later term the next term will be 1 by 7 like that okay you have to prove it like this one so this is all about today's question of the four year series i hope this is clear to you people so make sure you will share it with all your friends so thanks for watching the video Thank you.